Uh, as you all know, um, during the week I showed you a plane wreckage uh, that I discovered on Google Maps and there was a lot of uh, like disagreements people would say that this that's a plane in flight some said that uh, that plane never uh, crashed and uh, it's probably like visual illusion or something so anyways uh, right now we are going there and we're going to rent a boat and find out what the story is and uh, bring it to you when i return all right thank you where's the random nature okay so we weren't uh, they, we weren't able to rent a boat because they didn't have rental boats they're like we were losing money on it this and that so we discontinued boat rentals so now we are planning to fly the drone but we have to make sure the rules and regulations will allow flying drones okay so i don't see no drones i guess we are good and we are five miles away from the nearest airport so that makes it completely legal and okay and obviously we are not going to be flying any more than 300 feet we will be simply cruising around uh, you know above the water just to check out the area where the plane is suspected to be i'm gonna bring you the live footage thank you okay so we are flying the drone to approach the area where the plane was found and we will see if we can spot it there now this is a very beautiful lake and the lake is much bigger than what you could see uh, with the uh, google maps uh, because it's uh, miles and miles it stretches in like three four directions goes north east south and uh, each path uh, has its own beauty between two hills and mountains and valleys and uh, you you will see people renting actually they don't have rental boats anymore but they used to and people are actually launching their own boats and other uh, you know motor dri driven or other types of uh, boats to enjoy the lake as far as the sh uh, fishing and how stocked they are with fishing i have no idea that's something you need to contact the lake authorities to get a fishing license for that however i do recommend you guys to come and visit this place when we went to ask uh, for a rental boat we were told that they don't rent them anymore because they weren't getting enough business and it wasn't a profitable thing to do i mean imagine a a, a lake this beautiful with abundance of wildlife nature you name it uh, is having a hard time surviving how is that possible i mean you would think this place would be packed with you know visitors we have such a beautiful san diego such a beautiful city yet we don't even explore i mean i see people in the airport lined up and going to different places different countries different states you name it trying to enjoy the nature or you know uh, go for uh, a vacation or this and that without knowing the very fact that the beauty and the awesomeness of nature is actually under our noses right here in our own backyard in the beautiful california beautiful san diego you guys need to come you guys need to support your local state parks and lakes and uh, other parks uh, county parks if we don't do this they will not survive and before you know it they will have to close their doors because they cannot even afford uh, the staff who works here they cannot even afford um, you know they cannot even afford the cleanup the maintenance the security and you name it in order for these lakes and these beautiful parks to be uh, open to public and to survive they need your support they need your visit they need your you know uh, uh, parking fees they need your your boat 
launching fees, fishing fees, all those, you know, chipping in a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars will help them survive. Anyways, now let's get back to that plane crashing site. The plane should have been right here on the right, which I don't see a plane. So now there are two possibilities. Either that plane never crashed here and it was just a an optical illusion from uh, generated from a flying plane uh, overhead or maybe they have already cleaned it up taken it away and there are no debris left to be vi viewed or photographed so that's where, where that is and as you can see this this I'm like making a circle showing you around I want to uh, bring to you the beauty of this. this there's no way that a camera or a or a video camera or a drone or, or smartphone anything could do justice for the actual beauty that you will witness if you come here in person so my recommendation to you is good go out there enjoy your nature spend money let these park employees you know bring food on their table for their children and keep these beautiful parks open because this visit taught me a lesson it taught me a lesson that lack of support and lack of business was the reason why they closed the rental boat section and how sad is that anyways thank you for watching I just wanted to confirm to see if the plane was still there all right have a great day